Hey guys, what's going on? This is the voice back with another video of Java Essential Training Series. So this video is going to be about inheritance in Java. Inheritance in Java is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of a parent object. The idea behind inheritance in Java is that you can create new classes that are built upon existing classes. When you inherit from an existing class, you can reuse method and field of a parent class. You can add new method and fields also. So why we use inheritance in Java? For two main reasons, for method overriding and for code reusability. So let's look at example, how can we make a subclass or inheritance from a class? All right, so I've got this main class here. I'm going to create a new class, right click on a package in IntelliJ IDEA, new Java class, and I'm going to make our class employee, all right? So E-M-P-L-O-Y-E-E. All right, so we have the class employee now in our project. So press enter. And now let's create a float a variable. So float, okay, I'm going to name it salary, all right, is equal to 40,000. All right, semicolon. And let's get out of the class. All right. So we're going to create a new class which is going to inherit it from this class, all right? So let's type a keyword class, okay? And the name of the class, what you're going to make, all right? So I'm going to say programmer. And then there's a new keyword extends. I'll explain that in a second, all right? And then the class name which you're inheriting from, so employee. EM employee. All right. And then add a code block with the curly braces. All right. So in that subclass, I will create another integer variable. I will type it bonus is equal to, let's say, 10,000. All right. Semicolon at the end. And now we have uh, two classes. This class is inherited from this class. All right. But let's go back to main.java here. I'm going to create an object. So let's type programmer. Well, it needs programmer and obj as um, object name is equal to new programmer. All right. So we have created an object now. Let's print it out. So s out and I'll say programmer salary is space and let's add columns, get out from the quotation, add a concatenation, and then add object name, dot salary, all right? Okay, so we got that, and then S out, and then say bonus of programmer, all right, and is, Add a concatenation obj dot bonus. All right, let's run the program. Then I will explain a little bit more. So we have a programmer salary is forty thousand point zero. The bonus of a programmer is ten thousand. So in this example, the programmer object can access the field of its own class as well as of employee class. So that's called inheritance. All right. Uh, with that extend keyword, let me explain that to you. So the extend keyword indicates that you are making a new class that derives from an existing class. In the terminology of Java, class that is indicate inherited from uh, a call uh, inherited is called a superclass. The new class is called a subclass. All right. So the, how many types of inheritance in Java? Uh, on the basis of class, there can be three types of inheritance in Java, simple, multi-level, and heritual. So in Java programming, multiple and hybrid inheritance is supported through an interface only. How many types of inheritance is allowed in Java? Single line inheritance, multi-level, and heritual. So I'll give you uh, a quick explanation. What are these? So I'll use this Windows new feature screen sketch. Okay, so that's my screen sketch now. 
All right, so do I have a shapes here? Uh, don't actually, so I've got to use this pen tool. Okay, so single class inheritance, right? So let's say I have a class here called A, okay? And then this is inherited from class B, okay? So that is a single inheritance in Java, which is uh, and supported. So multi-level. Multi-level means, as you can see by the name, class 1, class 2, and class 3, right? So you got class C, class B, and class A. So B was inherited from C, and A from inherited from B. So A can use all the operators and properties from class C and B as well. So heritage classes. So let's say I've got a class A here, okay, and then class B here, and then class C here. Sorry, C here. Okay, so A is inherited from B and C as well. So that's called heritual uh, inheritance. There can be three types of inheritance, single, multi-level inheritance, right? So there's another thing I want to say that inheritance is not supported in Java through classes. Okay, so what is a multiple uh, inheritance in Java? I'll give you another example. Let's get rid of it and start our screen sketch one more time. Okay, so the multiple inheritance is basically if you have class A here, okay, and class B here, and class C here. Okay, so A class is inherited from B, let's say it's C, make it easy, and that's B. And then B class inherited from C as well. So that's called a multiple inheritance. So A is inherited B. So that's going to give you a compiler error. It is not supported in Java through class okay. okay so i'm gonna give you an example of coding using uh, inheritance now so i've got this main class and main method here right let's go and create another class so right click here new java class i'm going to name it calculation calculation all right and then in the calculation class just let's say define integer z okay and then define a method public wide and name the method addition addition all right so, and then pass the parameters int x and int y all right add a code block and say z is equal to x plus y all right and then s out and then say addition add a concatenation and print out z all right so we have one method here let's add another method okay so public wide let's say subtraction okay the same values int x comma int y all right and then go down here z is equal to x minus y done as out and say subtraction plus z all right so we have two methods in calculation class okay now let's make a subclass of calculation class so right click here new java class and let's name it my calculation all right so we have a new class now i'm going to extend that i'm going to inherit from calculation class all this data is going to be inherited into this class so how do we do that so public class my calculation and say extends is a keyword and then say calculation all right so we have done inheritance right and here in this class now let's add a method public right void and let's say multiplication yep multiplication okay and then same int x comma int y all right add a code block and z 
is equal to as you can see that all those variables are declared here in set are available in this class as well because that class has been inherited to my calculation.java now all right so let's say x multiply by y right as out multiplication okay and then add a concatenation add code all right so we have one method which does the multiplication for us but this is an extension of this calculation class which has all this data right so let's go back to our main class in the main method now i'm going to create an object so to create an object uh, i will i can use the scanner class to print out to ask the numbers for addition subtraction and we'll print from the console but you guys know about it so i've already explained that so let's add a method sorry uh, uh, create an object so i will say my calculation uh come on where is it all right my calculation is and then create an object i will name it obj is equal to new is a keyword and then say my calculation and that's it all right so now this class can access to the uh, the all the data available in my calculation .java now all right because we have created an object so now let's say i will type obj dot and as you can see that now we got addition method multiplication method and subtraction method available to us all of them so as you can see that the multiplication a multiplication method is basically a bit darker in IntelliJ idea so that means it exists in the class where we're creating an object from but subtraction is available to us it's a bit gray because it's inherited from the class called calculation.java so i'll use addition first all right so in the parameters i can define integer two integer values first one is going to be x and second one is going to be y so 10 comma 10 all right and let's run the program so that should be the answer should be 10 now sorry 20 10 plus 20 20 right my bad all right so same as addition method you can access uh, what is going on with my keyboard by the way i have no idea what's going on come on mate do it shit i don't know what's going on with that keyboard but as you guys know that you guys can make another um, you can use the subtraction and multiplication option by using that obj object now all right guys so thanks for watching that was the tutorial about inheritance in java i hope you like it if you have any questions let me know in the comments below you can follow me on twitter at awaitsmiza01 thanks for watching and i'm going to figure out what's going on with my keyboard now i can't i can tie but once i press enter it does not go down what the hell all right whatever so thanks for watching talk to you guys in the next video cheers